Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion. And today I want to talk to you about a special filter that is extremely useful, but which you might not know about. So let's take a look. So here I am in a 1920 1080 project. Don't worry about the frame rate and duration because we're just looking at a still here. And I've got this landscape shot here, which is also 1920 1080. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to rotate it but I actually want to fill in these sides here so I don't actually see black behind it. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So first of all, I'm going to zero out the rotation of this layer and I'm going to come to my group. And what we're actually going to be doing is applying the rotation to this group. So let's just give that a little bit of a rotation. So then we're going to come to the group. We're going to set it to fixed resolution and I'm just going to increase the width and height. I'm just going to double them, but we could go for whatever we want, depending on how much canvas we actually want to work with. 3840 by 2160 is twice 1920, 1080, obviously. So having done that, let's come to filters and tiling, and let's grab the mysteriously named Collider Tile, which initially doesn't look like it's going to be useful to us at all. But if I set my width and height to be the same as my project, 1920, 1080, all of a sudden, we've actually got those corners magically filled in. So what on earth is happening here? Let's take our group and let's just reduce the scale. And you can probably now see that what we've actually got is a repetition of our original image that is mirrored on every edge. And if I come into my original layer and we scale that down just a little bit, it becomes pretty obvious what's going on here. So I'm going to set that back up to 100. And while we're talking about scale, I want you to notice that there's a little bit of a gap there. And we can fix that by just making a small adjustment to this scale of this layer. So if we go up to 101% on that, that closes that gap. And we've got this very decent tiling. So let's set our main group back to 100%. And now we can do whatever rotation we want. And those edges are very nicely filled in. So this is a really useful filter to know about that can get you out of problem situations like this. When I built my recent chromatic aberration template for you, this is exactly what I had to do because it would involved rotating the layers and rotating the layers was creating problems because we weren't getting tiling on the corners. So very short tip, but a pretty useful one, I think. So thanks very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again soon.